matter the location. From OAKLA to LV, I'm a Raider. First question on the Raiders report. Henry, my man, happy Tuesday. Shout out to my girlfriend, Rachel. I made her a Raiders fan. Will Henry Ruggs be okay for the season? If so, what are his stats? Stats, I'm hoping for like 900 receiving yards. I'm thinking like 60-something catches, and if he can be around six touchdowns. And also, Henry, if you got any tips on how to convert your girl from another team to a Raider fan, I'm all aboard. But we do have an update here on Henry Ruggs, and this is one that's coming out on our Tuesday live show for those of you who may be watching this a little bit later on in the week. His thigh was punctured helping a friend move. He was you know, caught between a trailer and a truck, but luckily it doesn't really seem to be all that bad. He was spotted on crutches, but he should be easily, easily okay to go for week one against Carolina. We got another super chat coming in from Thomas Oney. Over, under, amount of catches for Jacobs. I'm thinking 35. All right, so that's what the Raiders report is all about. Over or under 35 catches for Josh Jacobs. If you think it's going to be over, type O. Under, type U for me. I'm actually going to type my O for over because I do think they are going to get him a little bit more involved in the passing game because he's their best offensive player. So what do you do? You try to get the ball in his hands a little bit more. We got another super chat coming in here from Gary Wyckoff. At least Ruggs didn't go into a crying chamber without socks. <laughs> uh, I think you mean like, all right, we, we got it. So Tom A.B., we can't even have nice things. He's going to be okay. We can have nice things. And I'm done having the stereotype that Raiders fans are unlucky or Raiders can't have nice things. We can't have nice things. Look at our new stadium. Look at a lot of our young players. This is going to be a new team. Knock on wood if you're with me. Let's go to Henry again through in another super chat. Much appreciated, my dude. Gunther sucks cheese puffs. Um, I don't know about Henry. Personally, though, one thing I know is this. Cheese puffs. They aren't very healthy. And if you're trying to control your weight a little bit, you can go to pandasups.com and you can use code Raiders, right, where you're going to be able to save 50% off. I don't know about you, but uh, being at home all the time, it's put some extra weight on me, and you all know that I like to drink beer too. So that doesn't help. So I've been trying to turn my Raiders six-pack of beers to an actual six-pack. Luckily for you, Pandasups, they're going to help you do that. They got pre-workouts, BCAs, fat burners, uh, thir nootropics. They got all sorts of stuff, okay? If you're trying to get back into shape, 50% off, pandasups.com. And if you're curious what stuff works, hit me up on IG. I'm at MitchellRens365. All right, let's get into this Q&A. What up, Alan? Get a pick. With the puncture, all right, will the puncture impact his speed? No, he's going to be okay. Like, when you're running 4.27, when you're as good as an athlete as Henry Ruggs is, I'm not really worried about it. And when I hear puncture, he might have a cut on his leg, right? The initial report sounded like there was like an arrow stuck through his thigh and he missed his artery. It's like not great. And obviously it's going to take a little bit of rebuilding time, but you're talking about some of the best athletes in the world. But Henry, if you do struggle, go to pandasubs.com. All right, what up, JJ Sporty? Make sure you guys are using hashtag Raiders. Where do the Raiders offensive line rank in the NFL? I would say in terms of like rushing, we're probably fifth or sixth best rushing offensive line. I would actually make the argument that we have the best pass blocking offensive line. I know we have the best pass blocking center. Gabe Jackson, Richie Incognito, probably two of the best guards in the NFL. It really comes down to Colton Miller, right? If Colton Miller can take that next step, if Colton Miller can take can be that breakout player like I hope he can. I'll say that we have the best offensive line in the NFL. However, until Colton Miller can prove that to me, I can't say it. But I do think that we have a top five offensive line. Let's go to Dame Time Dahomey. Get a pick. Does Jacobs have the potential to be the top running back in the NFL? So I did a 2020 breakout video, and I had jo Josh Jacobs in that. I think Jacobs does have the ability to lead the NFL in rushing. I think he can get over 1,500. So uh, I, I think he can definitely get there. If you don't believe me, go check out my uh, breakout video because Josh, he's on there. I mean, we had a lot more talent. Teams aren't going to be able to you know, stack the boxes easily. Let's go to Brian Dar. How do I get a pick? Brian, get a picture. <laughs> so you got to go on your desktop. So unfortunately, on a mobile device, you can't really do it. On your desktop, what you got to do is you got to click on your picture. You can go to settings, and then there you can change your picture. If you have problems with it, though, I always make fun of people who don't have one. Brian, DM me on Instagram, and uh, I'll help walk you through the process. Let's go to Chris. What up, Chris? One of my most loyal watchers. 
What do you think about Peter King putting the Raiders eighth in his power ranking? So I did see this, and actually producer Dylan sent this to me uh, this morning. was like, yo, did you see this? Hey, like, I'm not going to be upset about the Raiders being top ten, right? However, and, you know, y'all might want to disagree with me. I want more people to put the Raiders outside their top ten. I want people to disrespect the Raiders because I think last season – this team had a chip on their shoulder because as soon as AB left, everyone was like, oh, they're not going to be anything. And then we proved people wrong. We went six and four. And then, you know, I think it's just nature when people are like, okay, like, they're, like we're a pretty good football team. We're six and four. Then they struggle down the stretch a little bit. I think they kind of got a little overconfident and that's just human nature. But you know what? To have us finish last. That's great. Chip on the shoulders work. That's what I want. So, but hey, I do think we can finish top 10. All right, Raider Nation, I do need some help here. So currently, when I started today's show, I had 47,719 subscribers. Help me get to 48K by next live show. I know it's more than possible, so tell your friends to go out and sub. The Cowboys Report show, it's got over 60,000. I'm trying to catch up to them because I always brag here about how Nation is a lot better than the Cowboys fans, and let's help prove that point. Hit that subscribe button. Let's keep spreading the show because the more people that sub, the more videos I can do. And I would hope everyone would want that. Let's go to another super chat here from Henry. Jacobs and Henry reunion is going to be deadly. I'm just going to simply say four Chucky heads. Believe it, baby. Next super chat from Pactane Gaming. How will we use Lynn Bowden? I think Lynn Bowden is going to be kind of like the Joker where you're going to see him line up at running back. You're going to see him line up at wide receiver and actually don't even be surprised if he lines up a little bit at quarterback because he did actually play quarterback at Kentucky. He's going to be the player where when he comes on the field, he might not get many touches, but you have to at least be worried about him. And the fact that you have to be at least worried about him, that's going to open things up. But I think his most impactful way, honestly, could be running like a wildcat with Josh. Either way, he's a fun player. He's going to be fun to watch. Let's go to Spicy Curry. I love me some Indian food. He's using hashtag Raiders. Will Derek Carr be as good as 2016? So 2016 Derek Carr threw for 28 touchdowns, six interceptions, 3,000, like 900 yards. In terms of touchdowns and interceptions, I think he can be there. But the thing that people forget, like if you look at QBR, Carr's numbers last year, better. Yards, better. Completion percentage, better. And I think one of the reasons why Derek was so good in 2016 and 2015, because he had Amari Cooper, he had Michael Crabtree, he had a lot of these options. He has a number one wide receiver now in rug. So do I think he can be as good as 2016? Yes. Yes, I do. Let's go to Raider Joker, a.k.a. Lynn Bowden. How many sacks and interceptions do we get this year? How many sacks? I'm going to, my, my magic number has kind of been like 44. So I'm going to go there. And then interceptions. We got to get double digits. I think we have to start forcing more turnovers if teams want to take us a little bit more serious on the defensive side of the football. The guy that led us in sacks last year was Max Crosby. And if you want a Max Crosby jersey, all you got to do is this. Follow me on Instagram. It is at MitchellRens365. I'm going to be announcing the winner. As I itch my nose, wow, I got sunburn this weekend. Not good for my nose. Uh, <laughs> I will be announcing the winner on June 12th. Five people who recently just followed me on Instagram and who will be entered to ha win this jersey are this. FZ Matt, shout out to you. Robert underscore Boone. Onhell 7500 underscore. Brandon period Hibbert. And then Lucky GG 77 I'm keeping track of the IG followers. And if you follow me today and basically from before, I'm going to be announcing the winner on June 12th. Live here on the Raiders Report. You're not going to want to miss it. Let's go to Liam. What up, brother? Is Gruden building a defense that the rest of the league will fear? I sure hope so. And I also think he's building it from a coaching standpoint too, right? He wants coaches that he can believe in and he can trust. But Gruden and Mayock, they're building versatility because the new NFL is all about versatility. Like, that's what they want. LaMarcus Joyner, they want him to be a Swiss Army knife. Tanner Muse, they want a Swiss Army knife player who can play safety and linebacker. Carl Nassib, defensive end, also played a little bit of linebacker. Corey Littleton. It's like a new age linebacker. Like, there are so many different pieces where you can move people around. Jonathan Abram, who here thinks he could play linebacker? I know I do. Bottom line is, if if it works and you can be versatile, yeah, that's to be feared. Let's go to Allen. What up, brother? Get a pick. How many pro bowlers do you think will have Mitch? Oh, boy. So last season, the Baltimore Ravens, I think, had the most with 12. So 
So how about we shoot for like eight? I think going for eight Pro Bowlers is uh, doable. I think Josh can get there. I think Derek can get there. Darren Waller can get there. Crosby can get there. Furl, uh, Rodney Hudson, Trent Brown. I think if we can get around that eight mark, that would be a pretty good uh, improvement. Let's go to Joshua Ber Bernacci. <laughs> would you take back AB? No. No. I, no. Nope. Next question. Use hashtag Raiders. Jo Joshua, I appreciate you, but I don't want anything. Nothing. No AB. Move on. Dame time to homie, who looks like he's twins with Joshua. Is it a possible Marshawn Lynch return possible for Raiders playoff push and or if Josh Jacobs gets hurt? I know y'all love Marshawn, and I do too, but he was not the same runner last year. I mean, he went from serving me burgers week 15 in Oakland to the very next week playing. He's a great player. He'd be a fun dude to have in the locker room. He would sell tickets. We don't really need help selling tickets. And I just don't think he's there anymore. So for me personally, I'm going to say no to the whole Marshawn Lynch experiment. Now, we did get a lot of questions, and I appreciate everyone who got them in. But if I did miss your question, blame Producer Dylan, not me. DM me on Instagram, at MitchellRen365. After today's live show, I will go and I'll go look at them. So if I missed it, sorry. DM me on Instagram your question, at MitchellRens365. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.